Is that a new prospector asked me the other day? There's so many different detectors and so many different coils, so much equipment out there. What's the right stuff to buy? Just buy anything that's capable. Step one, just buy a capable detector. Yeah, don't overthink this. I'll put a list of capable models in the description below. Detectors. Get one, learn how to use it. Build your skills, not your bills. Start with stock. Yes, I love it. Build skills, not bills. Figure it out and change it up from there as you need to. And yeah, I've been out. It's early, man. It's like 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning. Just got done jogging like half a mile, heading up. You must be crazy out jogging and hiking at 5 o'clock in the morning. Somewhere good. Anyway, so just start with the stock stuff. That's all you have to do. Little coils don't mean little gold. Medium coils don't mean medium gold. And big coils do not mean big gold. It doesn't work that way. He's right. Size doesn't matter. I've been doing this since the 1980s. I've owned tons of detectors. I really started getting crazy with detectors in the late 90s. And I tell you what, no matter how much I bought, no matter what combos I played with, whatever combinations, I always found a sweet spot. I found plenty of multi-ouncers within 12 inches of depth. That's what I'm talking about. I've rarely found a multi-ouncer beyond 24. I actually made a video called Data Power that kind of goes into all this a few years ago. You can check it out. You can bet your boots I'm going to check that out. So big doesn't mean better. It doesn't mean bigger goal. It doesn't mean deeper. It might just mean deeper trash. It's very specialized. Okay, but what about an SDC versus a gold monster, for example? I tell you what, a gold monster with a 10-inch coil will keep up with an SDC every day. And some people may go, hey, you know, I don't agree with that. Well, then don't agree with it. I'm just saying that based on my experience. It will absolutely keep up with it. The only edge the SDC might maybe have is the ability to handle a little bit hotter ground. Other than that, on depth, they're, they're basically the same animal. Thank you, Sensei. So keep all this in mind. Don't go spend a bunch of money in, in a FOMO mindset. And what that means is fear of missing out. Don't just go buy something. Oh, I got to have this special coil to get this special result. Because, yeah, that's, that's when your head's in the wrong place. Fear of missing out. Focus on what you got. I'll say it again. I'll say it a thousand times. Start stock. Start with a stock setup. Build your skills, not your bills. Once you learn how something works with a stock setup, you set yourself up for success. Ooh, that's the recipe for success, my friends.